from the WSB TV studios. This is Channel 2's High Q. Here's your host, Channel 2 Sports Director Chuck Dowdle. Hello, everybody, and thanks for being with us today on High Q. And my thanks, first of all, to Glenn Burns for filling in for me while I was down in West Palm, but I am so happy to be back. Uh, we got a good match for you today. We've got our defending champions from Cherokee being challenged by Pace Academy. And Cherokee, best luck to you. Pace Academy, best luck to you. As you, of course, all know at home, we play High Q in four quarters. The first quarter, all open questions, all worth 10 points. I know everybody's all anxious and excited to get going here, so let's just jump right in. Let's go. Our first open question. Each screen is 525 lines long and lasts about a 30th of a second. Some of your friends may be watching it right now. Mr. Barrett of Pace Academy. Television. We certainly hope that they are watching it right now and on Channel 2. And Pace Academy on the scoreboard with 10 points. Hope you got that at home. And, of course, we invite you to play right along with us. Let's go to another open. Prince Philip is the husband of Queen Elizabeth II. Who was the husband of Queen Elizabeth I? Miss Barber? She never married. She never married. It was a trick question. Well, no, we couldn't fool you. Another 10 points for Pace Academy and back to another open. Mount McKinley is the highest mountain in the United States. What is the highest mountain in Japan, Mr. Conwick? Mount Fuji. Mount Fujiyama. And now Cherokee on the scoreboard with 10 points. Jack Dawkins doesn't play for the Los Angeles baseball team, but he is an artful dodger. And what novel by Charles Dickens will you find? Miss Barber of Pace Academy. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist, you will find the Artful Dodger. Howard Aiken invented the first modern one in 1944 and called it the Mark I. It took 12 seconds to solve a division problem and six seconds. Mr. Embriano of Cherokee. Computer. The first computer took, took um, six seconds to do multiplication. Boy, now they just do them like that. 30 to 20. We have a visual for you. Name the Cl latest Clinton nominee to his cabinet. Mr. Conwick? Reno. That is Janet Reno, the former Attorney General of Dade County, now the soon-to-be new Attorney General, 30 all. In 1988, Georgia Senator Paul Coverdale was selected by George Bush to become the director, Mr. Blackwell of Cherokee. Director of the Peace Corps. Director of the Peace Corps. Of course, the division of the government started by John F. Kennedy. In 40 to 30, Cherokee now with the lead. Lincoln Steffens, Ida Tarbell, and Upton Sinclair were among these writers who exposed Mr. Blackwell of Cherokee. The muckrakers. Muckrakers, they indeed were muckrakers. 50-30. He played George Armstrong Custer in Santa Fe Trail, starred in The Last Outpost with Rhonda Fleming, and in 1954 appeared with Mr. Blackwell of Cherokee. John Wayne. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, I'll finish it now for Pace Academy. In 1954 appeared with Barbara Stanwyck in Cattle Queen of Montana. Who was this actor and U.S. president? Miss Barber? Ronald Reagan. Well, which part of that gave it away? I was just... 50-40. Yes, that's right. The Cattle Queen of Montana. 50-40. There are four major sections of a symphony orchestra, including percussion, bass, and strings. What is the fourth section, Mr. Barrett? Woodwind. Woodwinds, indeed, is the fourth section. We are now tied at 50. It was the name of Captain Nemo's electrically powered submarine in... Mr. Hale of Cherokee. The Nautilus. Nautilus in 20,000 leagues under the sea. Cherokee back with a lead. Jesse Brown is only the second person to hold this cabinet position. Edward Derwinski was the first. Mr. Conwick. Secretary of Veteran Affairs. And Secretary of Veterans Affairs is the correct answer. Another open for you now. 70 to 50. Cherokee with a lead. Between the head and the abdomen, human beings have a chest. Mr. Blackwell. Torso. I'll finish it for Pace Academy. That was a good guess, though. What part of an insect is located between the head and the abdomen? The thorax. Mr. Blackburn? The thorax. Thorax is the correct answer. Another open for both sides now. Woodward and Bernstein wrote All the President's Men. Who wrote the 1947 Pulitzer Prize-winning novel All the King's Men? Miss Barber. Robert Penn Warren. Warren, yes. Tied now at 70. In Spanish, its name means Island of Pelicans. It's a small island in San Francisco Bay. And from 1934, Mr. Conwick of Cherokee? Alcatraz. Alcatraz, yes. It was, of course, a federal penitentiary, 80 to 70. It's a word or letter or picture or other symbol associated with a particular product which identifies the owner or manufacturer. What is it called? Mr. Embriano. Trademark. That is indeed the trademark. 
The closest planetary system that might support life intelligent enough to watch this game circles the star Vega 23 light years away. How long will it be before the Vegans see you answer this question? Mr. Hale. 23 years. 23 years. That's uh, because television does indeed travel at the speed of light. Uh, we sort of gave you the answer to the question there, didn't we? And, oh, my, that was... Thank you, yes. We have the rare double whistle there, but that signifies the end of the first quarter. Back with our extra credit round right after this. Welcome back to High Q. As we get ready to go into our extra credit round, let me point out that Cherokee, our defending champions, with a narrow 30-point lead over Pace Academy, but a good game, particularly there in the first quarter. I'd like to introduce you to a man that I've been away from for so long, and I missed him so much down in West Palm. <laughs> Lloyd, thought about you every day. Every day. Yeah, you believe that, yeah, don't yeah, you? I do. Good I to do. see you again. Good to see you. You look good, tanned. This well, is the yes, this that's is right. The Both teams, good luck. Good luck. Thanks very much. Lloyd Bush of Emory University, our judge and academic advisor. Let's meet our contestants from both teams. How about let's begin with our defending champions from Cherokee and Captain Blackwell. How about leading off the introductions there, please? I'm Keith Blackwell, and I'm a senior. I'm Sean Conwick, and I'm a junior. I'm Michael Hale, and I'm a senior. I'm Michael Brown, and I'm a junior. There you have our defending champions from Cherokee. And now from Pace Academy, Captain Harold. How about the introductions there? I'm Adam Harold, I'm a senior. I'm Jennifer Barber, and I'm a senior. David Barrett, senior. <laughs> I'm Chris Blackburn. I'm a senior. There we have our challengers from Pace Academy. Good game we got going. 100 to 70. Cherokee with the lead, but now the extra credit round. Again, open questions worth 10. But if you score correctly, then you get extra credit opportunity. Could be worth up to as many as 30 additional points for a correct answer. Here we go. It's a wind that reverses its direction with a change of seasons, often with torrential rains. Mr. Hale? Monsoon. A monsoon is the correct answer. That's good for 10 for you. And now your extra credit opportunity. Here's your chance to show that you are well read, R-E-D. For five points, who wrote the red badge of courage? Stephen Crane. Stephen Crane. For 10 points of the red pony, red harvest, and the red and the black, the one that wasn't originally written in English. The red pony. The uh, red pony. Red and black was originally written in French. So 115, you now have another open again, Pace Academy. You can get back into it here. Her real name was the Princess Aurora, and she was restored to life after 100 years by Prince Forum. Miss Barbara of Pace Academy. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty by Prince Foramon. That's good for 10 points for you. And now extra credit opportunity for you, Pace Academy. Six women have ruled England for at least one year. Elizabeth I and II are two of them. For five points, name any one of the other four. Victoria. All right, for 10 points, can you name another? Mary. Mary. More specific. More specific. Mary Tudor. Uh, that's good. And for a final 15 points, name any one of the other two queens. Mary Anne. Anne. Anne, yes, uh, is correct. Um, actually, we could have also accepted uh, Mary II or Mary Stuart, uh, which was also Mary II. Uh, so 115, 110, but you got all the extra credit opportunity there. Well done. Another open for both sides. He restored Leo III to the papacy, and in return, Leo crowned him emperor on Christmas Day, A.D. 800. Who was this Mr. Conwick of Cherokee? Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Good for 10 points for you. And we'll give you extra credit again. Your body's a lot like your car's engine. It needs different kinds of fluid to make it run right. For five points, what part of your body contains a watery fluid called... Aqueous humor between the cornea and the lens. The eye. Yes, I believe it's aqueous is the correct pronunciation. For 10 points, what is the straw-colored fluid in which blood cells are suspended? Plasma. And for 15 points, what is the thick fluid that surrounds and lubricates your joints? Synovial. 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 That is good for all 30 additional points. Well done, Cherokee. 155 now for our defending champions, 110 for the challengers from Pace. Wolves can be red, gray, or timber. What animal can be spotted, boxed, hawks built? Mr. Conwick of Cherokee. Owl. That's incorrect. I'll finish it for Pace Academy. Hawks bill, leatherback, soft shell, and Mr. Harrell. Turtles. Yes, turtles indeed. Can be all of those things. That's good for 10 more points for you, but more importantly, another extra credit opportunity. William Faulkner wrote The Sound and the Fury. Leo Tolstoy wrote War and Peace. Complete the following titles, which have the word and in them. Okay, for five points, Jane Austen's Pride and... 
prejudice? Uh, for 10 points, uh, even uh, Turgenev, fathers and sons. And for 15 points, D.H. Lawrence is sons and lovers. lovers. Well done, Miss Barber. <laughs> She was rattling off the names of those books as quickly as she could, relaying them through Captain Harrell. All right, 155, 150, another open for both sides. Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, Whistler's mother, and the Venus de Milo can all be found in this Paris museum. What is it, Mr. Blackwell? The Louvre. Uh, the Louvre, yes, that's correct for 10 points. Uh, here's your extra credit now. Russia and China border more countries than any countries in the world, but they both border only three countries. All right, for five points, of Mongolia, North Korea, and Iran, which does not border both China and Russia? Iran. That's correct. For 10 points, this country touches China at only one point, but its long borders with the Soviet Union were crossed in 1979. Afghanistan. Afghanistan. And for 15 points, what newly independent republic with its capital at Alma Alta borders both China and Russia? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, that is correct. Well done, 195 now for you, Cherokee. Here's another open for both sides. According to the New Testament book of Matthew, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these flowers. What flower is it? A lily of the field. A lily, all right, another open for both sides. The prime meridian, zero degrees longitude, is the point from which all distance east and west is measured. Name the suburb of London, Mr. Hale of Cherokee. Greenwich. Greenwich, England, that is correct. Uh, for which it is named, that is absolutely correct. Here now is your extra credit opportunity. There's more to movement and music than just dancing. For five points, how many movements does a classical symphony have, three or four? Four. And for ten points, how many movements does a concerto usually have, three, four, or five? Five. Three. Three, three was the correct answer, all right. 210, 150. Boy, they were guessing the best they could there. <laughs> you can see. All right, another open for both sides. Alex Haley wrote the autobiography of Malcolm X. Who wrote the classic black autobiography, Up From Slavery? Mr. Barrett? Kenneth Stamp. No, that's incorrect. Anyone, Cherokee? No guesses. Booker T. Washington. Washington, the correct answer. They were northern Republicans who came to the southern states during Mr. Conwick of Cherokee. Carpetbaggers. Carpetbaggers, yes, during Reconstruction. Here's your extra credit now, Cherokee. You are well over 200 points. To be or not to be, that is the question for five points. What is the Spanish verb meaning to be? Ser. Or a star. Okay, for 10 points, what is the French verb meaning to be? Etra. For 15 points, what Latin verb means to be? <laughs> I assume one member of the panel takes Latin. Sum. Uh, no. But, but maybe didn't take it long. Uh, S-A, or uh, S, I believe, E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Would that be correct, Mr. Embryon? Oh, good. We got that one right. <laughs> Nevertheless, we've reached the halfway point here at High Q. We'll be back with our speed round right after this. Our speed round right now, Cherokee on top, 235 to 150 over Pace Academy. At Pace, you can close a lot of ground here, and you get the opportunity to choose first from our four categories today, which are, shh, that's S-H-H-H, -H -H. <laughs> this and that, O-O, and mixed doubles. Oh, okay, well, and we'll stop you right there. Let's uh, go with, uh, you will have one minute to answer as many questions as you possibly can correct, any misses or passes, Cherokee will get the opportunity to reciprocate. So for 10 points each, we, we want you to identify these people, places, and things whose names begin with S-H, with sh, okay? Everybody understand that's a fairly simple concept. Here we go, one minute. The author, the author of The Tempest and the Taming of the Shrew. Shakespeare. Bashful, timid, withdrawn. Shy. Shy. Forest near Nottingham, where Robin Hood sure, lives. A party held to give gifts to a new bride or mother. The front part of your leg between the knee and the ankle. Shin, shin. The word that can precede story, circuit, hand. Short. 
he burned Atlanta, marched through Sherman, Georgia. Sir. The ruler of Iran before the Ayatollah. Shah. She wrote Frankenstein. He wrote Shelley. Ode to On a musical score, sign used to indicate a note is to be raised Tur half a step. A small, sturdy pony from Scotland. Shetland. Shetland. Character in The Merchant of Venice Who Wants a Pound Shylock. of Flesh. Another name for a meteor. Pass. What Peter Pan was looking for in Wendy's bedroom. Shadow. The part of the body where you'll find the scapula. Pass. A game played by sliding discs along a flat surface, sometimes with a stick. We went out of time. Well done, Pace Academy, up to 290 points. But there were a couple of misses and passes, so we'll go to Cherokee now and give you the opportunity. Another name for a meteor. Shooting star. Shooting star is correct. Uh, the part of the body where you'll find the scapula. Shoulder. The shoulder blade, that is uh, absolutely correct. <coughs> and now you get to choose from our remaining three categories of mixed doubles, oh oh, and this and that. This and that. Oh oh. Oh oh, okay, that's what it'll be then. And you two will have the same uh, opportunity during a minute. Sometimes it's not how you start that counts, it's how you finish for 10 points each. We want you to identify these people, places, and things whose names all end with the letter O. Okay? Here we go. Walt Disney's elephant. Dumbo. 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 The third largest city in the United States, the Windy Chicago. City. Chicago. He ruled Japan from 1920. Of, of Gumo, Toto, and Chico, the one that wasn't a Marx brother. Guto. Uh, a thick soup made in Louisiana from Ogre. The mission in San Antonio, Texas, captured Alamo. by... Alamo. Nickname of Richard Starkey, drummer for the Fab Four. Pass. Of Colorado, Idaho, and Ohio, the largest state. Colorado. The Lone Ranger's faithful Indian Conte. companion. In the 13th century, he traveled from Venice Mark to Mark the Bell. Author of The Apology, The Symposium, and The Republic. Plato. Of USO, PLO, TKO, and CEO, the one that's a term in boxing. TKO. TKO. The monetary unit of Argentina, Bolivia, Cuba, and Mexico. Peso. The highest female singing voice. Alto. An animal with white fur and red eyes. Albano. Of Quito, Toronto, Cairo, and Oslo, the one that is not a national capital is Toronto. There, I just finished that for you. 375, well done, Cherokee, but Pace, there were a couple of misses and passes. Back up here and give you the opportunity. Of Gummo, Toto, and Chico, the one that wasn't a Marx brother. Groucho. I don't think I said Groucho. Uh, <laughs> Actually, if you'll think carefully, in The Wizard of Oz, Toto was Dorothy's dog, uh, if you remember correctly there. Uh, nickname of Richard Starkey. Ringo. Ringo. Good. I was wondering how old I was getting there for a moment. And the highest female Soprano. singing voice. Soprano. That is correct. Well done. So 375, 310, and back with our final exam round right after this on High Cube. Welcome back to High Q. Here we go with our final exam round. Cherokee with a 375 to 310 lead over Pace Academy. This is still anybody's game because in the final exam round, we have all open questions. All are worth 20 points, so the scores can change very quickly. Here we go. Georgia's universities award thousands of degrees every year, but only one university awards the Pulitzer Prizes every year. What New York university is it? Mr. Blackwell? Columbia. Is indeed the university. That's good for 20. Peter, Susan, Lucy, and Edmund Penvinci walk through a closed... Mr. Hale of Cherokee. C.S. Lewis is the Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe? Less specifically. The Chronicles of Narnia. No, we're going to give you that. That's, that's the second part of that was what we were looking for. 415 for you now. In January 1788, the first penal colony in this English colony was founded... Mr. Harrell at, Base, at Pace Academy. Georgia. Uh, no, I'll finish it. Was founded at Botany Bay. It's now an independent country. Mr. Conway? Australia. Australia is correct. That's good for 20 more. All right, I assure you this mathematical problem is not as difficult as it will seem to you. Express the following improper fraction as a decimal number correct to four places. 355 over 113. Mr. Harrell? Point, uh... No. Anyone in Cherokee? Mr. Blackwell? 3.1415. That's incorrect. It's 3.1416. Uh, that's uh, It's equal to pi, the ratio of the diameter of a circle to its circumference. You are very close, though. 
Uh, 435 and 310, if it had been up to me, I'd have given it to you. In February 1945, Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin met at this Russian seaport, Mr. Blackwell. Yalta. Yalta is the correct answer. We have a visual for you. Name the religious cult that has become the central, Mr. Harrell of Pace County. Davidians. Pardon? Branch Davidians. Branch Davidians. Yes, out in uh, Texas, out near Houston, Texas. He was one of the first five players elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. He, Mr. Harrell of Pace Academy. Babe Ruth. Uh, he was also one of the first five. That's not the one we were looking for, though. He batted over 400 three times, and his lifetime batting average was 367, the highest ever recorded. Mr. Blackwell. Tack up. The Georgia Peach. The name's the same. The first name of Flaubert's Madame Bovary and the title character of a Jane Austen novel. What's the name? Emma? R Mr. Blackwell? Emma. Emma, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're nearing 500 points. The Girl of the Golden West is set in California. La Boheme is set in Paris. Madame Butterfly is set in Japan. But all of the characters speak Italian because they're all operas by this Italian composer. Who was he? Miss Barber? Puccini? That is correct. Moth. Cobweb, Mustard Seed, Peace Blossom, Oberon, Titania, and Puck are all characters in this Shakespearean play. What is this, Mr. Hale? The Midsummer Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream is good for 20 more points for you. Puts you over 500. The last state to leave the Union to join the Confederacy was also, Mr. Conway? Tennessee. That's also good for another 20 points. Mount Mitchell is the highest peak in this mountain chain that extends from, Mr. Blackwell? The Appalachians. Athlete, good for another 20, and now you are rolling. Yuri Gargarin of the Soviet Union was the first cosmonaut. Who was the first American astronaut? Mr. Hale. Alan B. Shepard. That's good for another 20. 575 for you now. Bill Clinton took the oath of office as president on January 20th, 1993. Which amendment to the Constitution, sometimes called the lame duck amendment, Mr. Conway? The 20th Amendment. That's right. Changed the inauguration date from March 4th to January 20th. It did that indeed. Her name was Groach, and she, uh, and she was the granddaughter of Kenneth III of Scotland. Her husband killed King Duncan I in, battle, in a battle near El Mr. Embriano. Um, Macbeth. More specifically. Um. All right, we'll go to Pace Academy. Uh, near Elgin in 1040, took the crown and ruled until 1057. By what name is this Queen of Scotland better known? It's actually Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth is, uh, is what our very picky judge was looking for. Back to another open. He graduated last in his class from West Point in 1846, Mr. Blackwell. Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, that is incorrect. And joined the Confederate Army in 1861. On July 3rd, 1863, at the Battle of Gettysburg, he led his troops in a last heroic and unsuccessful charge. Mr. Barrett. Pickett's. Pickett, yes, that is correct. But nevertheless, Cherokee has won, and Cherokee will take on the Riverside Military Academy next week right here on IQ. They'll be here, and we trust you will too. See you then, everybody. So long.